that even though Agatha does not really like her husband, she understands the importance of telling him. My level of respect for Lady Danbury grew, and especially to probably the utmost level when I saw how she deals with her husband. Like, the, the husband is very for himself, more like on a narcissistic level. But, you know, like she still support him. She still do thing in a very do things in a very tactful way. Like she's very tactful and she's very mannerable and still polite about it. You know, and she's aware of other person's feelings and not just her own because even when she dealt with Violet, like the older version of Violet, I, I loved her approach and she went back and she sensed that maybe she offended the lady and she went back and softened it and explained herself, clarified things. So I love that about um, Lady Danbury and I think she really does stand up to the title of a lady because she's a marvelous character. She's supported, supportive and she's sincere and genuine in her actions, not just towards herself but everyone else. It's like she creates such a win-win situation for everybody. It's admirable. So I admire Lady Danbury very much and how she even take, take that amount of sex or that the kind of sex there. I mean, it is admirable. Very admirable. Not till no lie. Not till no lie.